Today's review is the iComfort S30 Smart Thermostat. iComfort S30 Smart Thermostat, inside the box is the display, the mag mount, the smart hub, the wall plate. Uh, it only works with Linux equipment and I've yet to find a app for it that is outside of the regular Linux app. So if you're a fan of home automation like myself, uh, having this is not a plus. I did find somebody that wrote an API that exports from here, but I have to admit uh, it's not hard to set up, but it's going to be a little kludgy, which means that it's not going to exactly be a plug and play. Over here I have the thermostat on the wall, as you can see, mounted. Uh, I had this previously installed to today, so I'm only going to show you the thermostat itself. I will show you that you can take the thermostat off the wall. Thermostat will continue to operate when off the wall, but it, unfortunately it's only going to operate for about five minutes and then it shuts down. Uh, putting it back on, you can see the back of it. Just a mag mount. You kind of just got to play with it till you get it back on. If you don't get it back on, the thing will shut down. The easiest way to do is just take a look at the back of it and you can see that it's flush on there. Uh, it does kind of swivel, so you can make it <laughs> level on the wall, uh, which is, I, I guess, uh, a good thing, because I like level, and I don't like something that's kind of out of whack, but it is what it is. Uh, my app operating this is really not that sophisticated. Uh, as the user, you can hit here for your uh, five-day weather. And you'll see uh, this is my local area. You'll see here's the next five days. Really not that sophisticated. You can kind of swipe through it somewhat. You can't swipe through the days, so it's a five day or one, two, three, four, five. So I guess today is Monday. So it, show, it doesn't show you what Monday is gonna be except for I guess over here. It's kind of, uh, it's like using your iPhone. And then you'll see over here, you, this is where you're gonna go into your controls. These are the notifications or their settings. Uh, I've been through every setting on here. Um, the ones that probably most who would be watching this video are concerned with is the advanced settings. Uh, I mean, sorry, general. And then in general, take that back, advanced settings. You're gonna hit the controller, and you're gonna hit proceed, and then you're gonna come up with these options here. I've seen some other videos about this. So if uh, you want more information or something specific, you can look at those videos as well. Search for them, you'll see them. The uh, ones that really pertain to what I was doing, and the ones that I had the most trouble with when setting up the system, because my dealer, who is a big dealer in the area, I'm not gonna say who they are, but they're a big dealer in the area. Uh, they're not the biggest, they're not the smallest, they were somewhere in the middle. Uh, they were not that diverse in this particular thermostat, which I found uh, a little troublesome because there are some things in here that need to be set and I had to have them come back and, and, and take a look at it. And I, I think they figured it out for the most part, but I can't say that I was 100% um, happy with how they came up with it. It was more of, well, this is what we think it is versus uh, this is what it should be. Uh, you'll see that these two things here were the ones that gave me the most um, the most trouble when setting it up was to figure out the range of the high and the range of the low. And the reason that you'll see here where it has a cooling of a low range of 380 and a high of 1800 and the default 525. Well, I noticed that when, when it comes defaulted to um, 525, you will have an issue of too low of an airflow where you're not putting out enough cooling across the uh, coil. And it will somehow, it will default to staying to the lowest unless you shove the temperature down a bunch of degrees or it goes for a while feeling like it can't make the correct temperature, then it will switch to the high. And then at the default number, which was 1250, well then that will work fine. So what I was finding is this thing, because they did not change this from out of the box. It was set to 525 and 1250. 
I found that it was needed to be uh, adjusted to actually work correctly. I had them come back in because I wasn't familiar with this thermostat or how it should be because supposedly the default, and again, it's not well documented at all. You can access the Linux training, but the Linux training doesn't really give you enough information to uh, make a judgment call of how to set this. So I brought them back in. And then they said, well, you know, you got to have enough airflow to dehumidify and enough airflow to obviously cool down properly. Uh, so we kind of went through all that. Um, you'll see we came up with at least me and the person that was here was to have a thousand and twelve hundred. So it ranges really between 200 CFM difference between the low and the high. Uh, I have two units and two thermostats. Uh, the one that's on the second zone. Uh, will get uh, has a slower number because at a thousand it was a little bit um, too loud actually uh, too little too high of airflow uh, going on upstairs so lowered it down to uh, I think it's 950 and that pretty much was the sweet spot for that upstairs so it was a bit of a trial and error uh, I've the bills are all normal you know in terms of cost uh, temperature uh, cools down uh, relatively quickly. Uh, it works as I would expect it to work, but to be totally honest, uh, I think every house is slightly different. So my results will be different than somebody else. Of course, my house, the size of your house, the vents, the returns, the, you know, <laughs> which way your house is facing, how many windows you have, you know, everything makes a difference into how your house is going to be heated or cooled so you know again everybody's going to be a little bit different but this was my experience the other thing that i found uh quite useful in here was being able to run the tests and the diagnostics uh i can run the um both units right now i'm not in cooling i'm in heating because of the time of year and then as well as the tests you can run those too one thing that i have on that i added to this unit that the dealer did not put in was a uh, thermos, a um, thermometer basically on the output side of the airflow. So it knows, it does a better job of dehumidification, which I set to uh, in, the, in the summer down here to dehumidify, but I don't dehumidify upstairs. I found upstairs if I set the dehumidifier, the thing just runs a lot more often. Uh, doesn't really ever pull the, uh, the um, dehumidification down. Uh, down here, when I did this, the upstairs was uh, basically is just the same as down here. So kind of setting it down here. Did a good job in the house. I think most of my humidity is coming mostly from the basement and just, you know, general other places. I'm not an expert in humidity, so it's just a guess. Uh, and then I also was able to set from here the modes and schedules. And that I, it was pretty easy to set. It's all self-explanatory. There's isn't really much to talk about there. It's pretty straightforward. So for the most part, I've liked this thermostat. The other thing I like is that I can, um, uh, you can swipe between upstairs and downstairs. So instead of having to go on upstairs to change it or use the phone application, I can just swipe between the two. That's a cool feature. Didn't have that in any of my other thermostats. Uh, before this, I had a carrier thermostat. I had the carrier, um, whatever they're, they call their top of the line. Uh, which I can't remember what it is right now. I had that. Um, I do like this much better than that. Uh, I like this interface better. Um, works pretty well. No, nothing really to complain about. You will see that the humidity between downstairs and upstairs is quite a bit of a difference. Uh, we had a lot of rain in the last two days. Uh, there's also a shower that's upstairs, um, not that far away from this, probably about 20 feet or so. So I just think upstairs in that area, just generally is more humidity coming out. Um, that's pretty straightforward. Again, change the heating straight, you know, you just kind of tap in it to change it. You'll see here it's set to heat two, current temperature inside. I had it set wrong, but you'll see that right there, 68. Pretty straightforward. Uh, nothing, uh, of course that was upstairs I just changed. So we'll go ahead and put upstairs back to where I normally have it. You'll see that it does take a second for it to register because this is not the thermostat directly here. If I change it over here, I change this to let's say 68, which I missed. Come back, you'll see it changes faster. That's pretty much, much it on the thermostat style. If I think of more things, I'll elaborate further. If not, there we go. OK, 
Okay, here's a picture of the gateway that's installed by the furnace. Um, you'll see it has a bunch of icons giving its operating status, which all currently is green, wireless, things like that. It doesn't actually connect to my wireless network. It's completely independent. It connects to, it operates with the Linux. This operates with the um, controller. Well, this basically is wired into the controller and communicating with the controller. And then, you know, you have the between the two floors. So what I really suspect, again, it's not well documented. Somebody can comment on it and say exactly what it is or how it communicates. It doesn't really matter to me. I know it works, but uh, it communicates this to the upstairs unit, I suspect, and the two of them that way you can, when you're doing the swipe, that's the wireless between the two. Uh, I don't know if it communicates wirelessly to the outside unit. I have no idea if it communicates with the unit that's uh, right here. Other than it's hardwired into it, there's a hard, there's basically, you know, four wires, two pair uh, coming into the back of the unit. The other side is going into the mag mount on the wall. And of course, the mag mount uh, connects to the touchpad. How they communicate with each other, unknown. What I suspect is some's wireless, some's direct connect communicating. Uh, I would think that it would avoid wireless for. Uh, most things uh, wireless would be more probably communicate between the two hubs again Don't really know I tried to find videos information on this uh, It's not well documented how certain things work. I probably could find out how the wireless works But it's really not that important to me. This was the temperature sensor that got added in this temperature sensor is connected into uh, the main board on the main unit here uh, this allows you to go into the thermostat and see what the output of temperature is versus throwing a probe into it. Uh, according to the manual, this also helps with dehumidification. Uh, it gives it, uh, I guess, some more data to go by for it to know uh, what it needs to increase or decrease. Again, somewhat documented, not that well documented. Here you'll see the iPhone control, pretty straightforward, works exactly as the unit does on the wall all features are here the only thing you cannot go into is the dealer settings or the actual settings of the unit you can find out get into the info from it but you can't go ahead and make uh, changes like you can from the actual um, thermostat pad or touchpad i do like the unit i do like the features of the unit i do like that it has the ability to come off the wall the problem is I don't know why you would take it off the wall except to clean it or to, you know, I don't, it, it makes no sense why they built it to be removable if it doesn't actually have a battery. So that would be my biggest con of the, of the touchpad. Otherwise, the features, being able to swipe between floors, uh, the feasibility, um, the changes that you have in terms of controls are much better than I had even with the carrier unit. I had the, um, whatever the carrier calls their top of the end controller. Uh, communicating thermostat, uh, which I can't remember right now. Uh, it's definitely an improvement over that. There's a lot more bells and whistles or things that you can change, but some of them are not well documented. Even if I, I read that manual backwards and forwards, and I even talked to the dealer, and, and, and the dealer I won't say was not sure, but they gave you know the theory behind it, but not why this thermostat's defaulting to X number and what the number should be and what the, uh, the difference should be between the two. You know, my old, or the old unit that was in this particular house that I moved into, the unit would run, stop, run, stop. Typical of an AC unit, runs, cools, stops. This unit just pretty much keeps running because that's the type that it is, is that it goes, for, it, it will actually change the load to lower, to higher, to keep the temperature in the comfort zone, which is exactly where you want. So you don't go up, you either go down, you stay exactly where you're at. When it gets cooler out and you know the temperature stays cooler for a long period of time, then it does shut off, has stayed off. Electric bills have been pretty cheap all summer um, compared to the, even the other unit. So I wanna say that there isn't anything wrong with it. House is very comfortable. Um, house is definitely keeping its temperature in, in the, when it's set. Uh, now that we switched over into the heater, uh, no issues there. I mean, that's it's very, very quiet uh, in terms of, uh, you know, when it runs, you don't even know it's running most of the time, especially downstairs. Upstairs, I can hear a little bit in the bedroom because uh, we have four vents in the bedroom and a return vent. So, it, it, and the strongest return vents actually in our room. Uh, so I do hear it. 
Um, but otherwise, great unit, great touchpad, highly recommend. Uh, if you have any questions, drop me a uh, comment. Uh, if there's anything you want me to add or uh, do a video on, let me know as well. Thanks.